everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you guys two out of the four quartz collection from ColourPop. You have your blue one, which is your aquamarine, and you also have your pink one, which is your rose. But before I share my personal thoughts on this collection, if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe down below. I really do appreciate it. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up as well. All right, so let's get started with the collections. Starting off with their priming sprays. Now these right here are $6 a pop and they're not bad for the amount that you get. However, I did not like the nozzle at all because you really kind of have to aim it super far away in order to coat your entire face. And for me, I kind of want to be a little bit closer. I really don't have a problem with any of my other setting sprays or priming mist. This is the only one that I kind of have to shoot so far away. I guess the positive thing about this, it does make my makeup last a little bit longer. It has no scent to it. But if I had to say if it smelled like something, the rose one, and I also feel like the aquamarine, which is the blue one, they kind of smell like Windex. I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for that, um, but to me, they smell a little bit like chemically. All right, so let me just spray really quickly so you guys can see. Yeah, see, I was this far away, which is a good distance, and I feel like it just squirted all in my nose. You guys can see right now on the camera, it's like all wet right here. This is why I don't really like these mists. Um, but I will be transferring the product to another bottle that I have from Urban Decay that is empty because I still want to use this product. I don't think this product is bad. It's just the nozzle is just not good. So next up you have your liquid highlighters and these are $9 a piece. So they're a little bit more expensive than the priming spray. Now my honest opinion, once again, I did not like these. I was so bummed because I was really looking forward to this. I applied this on my skin um, just by itself. It made me look greasy. It didn't make me look dewy or nice and glowy, nothing like that. I applied it with my foundation. It really made me look even more greasier. I did not like it. I applied it with a matte foundation. Same thing, just didn't like it at all. It just changed the consistency of my foundation. Um, so I would say I will not obviously be buying this again. I don't really recommend it. The only way that I see myself using this is just like on my body, like maybe on my shoulders, on my arms, on my legs, if I want um, some glow to them. But besides that, I'm definitely not applying this to my face. So guys, save your $9 and purchase something else. I'm gonna try to find a dupe similar to this, but with a better consistency and a better outcome because I feel like there's probably something out there. But as far as these liquid highlighters, from ColourPop no so lastly we have the crystal bomb and these are five dollars a pop which is not bad um, I was very torn however because they are very moisturizing on the lips and I really like that they just look so healthy when you apply this and you have it on for a while however I just really don't see myself wearing something so metallic -y on a daily basis I have so many lippies already and you guys can tell from um, my little quick swatch right there. It's just very shiny, it kind of reminds me of a robot. Um, so these are something that I will be giving away. I won't be using them. They're just gonna be stuck in my collection. But if you are trying to give somebody a gift, you know, for like an eight year old, this is perfect for them. I'm sure they're going to love it. And I've seen a lot of positive reviews on these already. Um, so it's not a bad product. I just don't like the finish. And for that reason, I'm kind of like meh in between. Overall, I really didn't enjoy this collection. I am sad to say because ColourPop always comes out with a lot of amazing products and I feel like they're always like stepping up their game. They come out with so many products and it seems like it's like every single week, but the Quartz collection for me was just not doing it. If you guys enjoyed my video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.